What will you now have to say to someone that tried to get out of a particular act? Okay. You understand? Uh, the person has been trying and trying. And you know, when you you like consistently do something, you want to get over this. Mm. But you still see yourself still doing that. You understand? And you find out that the more you put in effort to get through that, you are not getting through it. And you know, that could actually bring that person to a point of saying, since this thing is no longer working, I'm done mm. with this um, whole Christian stuff. Yes. I, I've seen people do that. So what will you now have to tell such a person? Is it possible that an act of sin you did or mistake you did can push you to losing your salvation? Uh, no, in such ways, you can't even, you can't lose your salvation in such a way. Okay. Because you were frustrated. Okay. So even when you are saying, I don't want it, you really want it. Just that like you don't have a way around it. Okay. Now, I battled with masturbation, right? I started masturbating at the age of 12. Yeah, that was very deep, yeah. So I battled with it. It was off and on. Sometimes one year you are free from it. Next time you are back into it. Some months you are free from it, you know. It was, it was an addiction. The first time you actually masturbate, a demon doesn't host right it's like the demon whispering and the demon can only host in your soul in most cases your soul is mainly where demons are fighting to have a hosting place because your your soul your spirit cannot control your body it's not meant to do that your spirit controls your soul your soul controls your body that's how it works so information should move from the spirit to your soul so if the devil is giving an information to your soul, whatever the soul accepts controls the body. So when someone is battling through an addiction, the first thing the person needs to understand is that when it is now an addiction, it becomes a stronghold. Stronghold are caused by a knowing in the mind and a spirit. Two things cause stronghold. A stronghold is in the mind. The Bible says in the book of Fishing, I think in the book of Corinthians, yeah, Corinthians said, casting down imagination, yeah. right? Yeah. Bringing into captivity everything that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, mm-hmm. right? He said we can cast down imagination, we can arrest imagination. Mm-hmm. To our, some, some Bible verse say arresting thoughts. Yeah. So which means thoughts are projected. In order to arrest thought, means there is another being that is inside your soul realm that can arrest thoughts. If you don't know how to arrest thoughts, there is nobody that sins without choosing to sin. The devil cannot force you to sin as a Christian. The devil suggests sin. It's an idea, it's a suggestion. Then when he suggests it, you obey it. The devil doesn't... An an unsaved person can be forced to sin by devil. Because since Christ is not in that body, the devil is possessing the soul, the spirit. So the devil can force the person to do whatever. He doesn't have, even if you say, I don't want to do it, he sees himself doing it. But when you are a Christian, the devil can only suggest it. Look at that lady. You look at that lady. The sin is not there in looking at the lady. When you try to move your eye, he says, look at her again. You look at her again, the sin is coming. The picture of the Just sin, like if. if the imagination begins to come in, then she's wearing clothes, you begin to see her naked. Those things are the devil painting the picture to you. Then your body begins to react. Your body begins to stimulate certain things. Certain enzymes begin to move. Your body is getting aroused to a certain level of thought. Now a spirit is being present to execute it. Just like a lying spirit. The lying spirit only comes to help you to lie more. A fornicating spirit comes to help you to fornicate. When you are done fornicating, the spirit leaves. You, You are filled with regret. But after one hour, two hours, the spirit comes back again and says, do you remember I'm still here? So, but you are not being forced. So those kind of person, one of the problems they have is that there are two things needed. The spirit that is tormenting them need to be cast out. And in most cases, you can't deliver someone that is not desperate for deliverance. Yeah. It's an addiction. How our, the medical people treat an addiction, if you are addicted to maybe smoking or whatever, one of the things they always do, maybe if you're addicted to coke, smoking, taking heroin and stuff like that, one of the things they'll do is isolation. 
put you in a room. If they see that you can't stay without taking it two times a day or three times a day, they put you in a room and lock you up. What they're trying to do is what we actually do, but we do with the Holy Ghost easily. They are trying to cast out the spirit. If you starve a spirit of what he normally does, the spirit leaves your body to find out that host. Wow. It's basic. Wow. Yeah, that's why the Bible says you must have self-discipline. For I have not given you the spirit of fear, but the spirit of sound mind, the spirit of discipline, the spirit of love. You must have self-control. So if you shut the door and the spirit comes to exercise that evil and is not able to find a way to exercise that evil, you try again.